one, I am doing two videos this week um, because I felt like maybe everybody didn't care about my um, relationship and our deployment update <laughs> and how things are going with us. And um, I wanted to do this video and I was actually inspired. Like I'll have videos planned out weeks in advance and I'll get like inspired by something. And um, so that's the case this week. So if you'll stay tuned, I just wanted to just do a quick video about um, just women and um, how we, I guess, put so much pressure on ourselves um, when we're dating and um, just the pressure of like matching up to other people and just kind of keeping up with the Joneses type situation, especially if you're single and you're just getting down about, you know, getting older and um, not having kids and stuff like that. Um, so stay tuned for that video. I just wanted to have a chat about a couple of those issues. sitting on my couch over there on the weekends and doing my homework or taking naps going to the gym cleaning up coming back <laughs> like you know I like to do stuff don't get me wrong like I'm not like that much of a reckless but um I am really a homebody and um I'm okay with it um, for the most part you know you kind of have your circle you have your friends and family that you just you know have a routine with already and I just don't really stray from that very often um, last two weeks especially with CC gone I was like well look I need to force myself to go out and do stuff and mingle and blah 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 <laughs> but um so the weekend before last um so last saturday i went to a painting party i had somewhat joined this group um it's a divorce recovery group so last year i had joined this group and um I just didn't really stick with it because I'm just that person that um, isn't a follow thrower. <laughs> and then like I said too, like I'm just perfectly happy doing my own thing. So long story short, they still, you know, reach out every now and then. And so they called last week and they're like, hey, do you want to come to this painting party? And I'm like, I mean, I'm not doing anything else. So yeah. Um, and I just, I know that I need to fellowship and I need to, you know, build relationships with people that I can, you know, lean on spiritually when I need to. And so I was like, yeah, you know, I'll go because it's not that big of a deal. It's not like they want me to come every Saturday. <laughs> that's what I'm scared of. I was like, I can't do anything that's going to make me come every single week. Like I'm in grad school. I take care of my parents. Like I just can't right now. <laughs> um, so it ended up being really cool. And um, so, I mean, just other women that are younger, older, and you know, somewhere in between or whatever um, with me and being divorced and just kind of going through life and just sharing and stuff like that was cool. And so I'm glad that I kind of got out of myself, my, out of my element to, to do that. This past Friday, um, the same thing, my friend um, invited me to go for like a ladies night with all of her friends. And I had met all of them before. So um, it wasn't very intimidating. And I was glad that she told me ahead of time there would be other people because I can't stand when someone invites you out. And then bam, there's like five other people that you had no idea were going to be there. Um, but it ended up being really cool. And I came home on Friday night just so tired and just like I need a nap like I can't keep my eyes open like I don't know what's wrong with me I feel like I've been drugged um I was gonna I was gonna cancel I was gonna be like look I'm just too tired and I was like she's just not gonna want to ever invite me out ever again <laughs> so I was like okay I'm gonna go and then too we were going to a Mexican restaurant so who can beat salsa and chips <laughs> So, you know, I went for the salsa and the chips, but stayed for, you know, the camaraderie and the conversation and stuff. <laughs> so, um, 
it ended up being really cool and you know I ended up connecting with um, some of her friends and it was it was a good time I actually talked to her friends more than I talked to her and I love her dearly um, so you know it was just because we just were able to connect and I love the fact of being able to meet like-minded women because that's what I've struggled with since moving to Florida being from New York and coming down here it's just been a little bit of a struggle because it really is a culture shock and anybody that says that it isn't is like lying <laughs> because it is hard to meet people that I feel like have the same values that have the same upbringing just just stuff that matters to me you know even though I can get along with anybody you wouldn't believe the people I've been friends with or associated with at some point um, because I am that person like I can't be so versatile and I try not to judge people I try to just be friendly and helpful and you know I'll help anybody um, so with that being said it ended up being a really great night and I was really able to like open up to them and they're able to open up to me about their situations and their past and stuff like that so basically long story short of this video is that i wanted to make a comment from this situation of like how i think sometimes we get down on ourselves and we feel like you know we're gonna have a pity party because you know our situation is so much worse than somebody else's meanwhile somebody else is going through something similar or even something worse and so it's really good to kind of know that you're not alone like i hate to feel like misery loves company um but <laughs> it's nice you know for someone to be able to say like i know how you feel and so i think that and this is the reason why i made my channel is because you know even though i'm a very imperfect christian you know like everyone else um i think that some people have crazy expectations of us especially with us dating like you're not gonna have sex and you're not gonna do this and you're not gonna do that and you know you're supposed to you know wait till you're uh, married to live with a person and you're not supposed to have kids out of wedlock and you're not supposed to you know say certain things do certain things go out by yourself you're supposed to group date you're supposed to, like there's just so much you know that people throw at you as being like the right thing to do and it's like I mean our culture has not even made it conducive for us to sit up and even try to even be perfect in relationships. And I think too that women don't even hold men to the same expectations and standards that maybe we did in the past of being good providers, being there for us, not cheating, not, you know, like an Insta host pictures all the time. So it really is a hard life out here for dating and stuff like that. And I think that we can all get down on ourselves and feel like, you know, our situation is so much worse or we're by ourselves or all of our friends you know we're looking at social media and all our friends are starting to have kids or get married or um you know both <laughs> in the same year um or getting divorced and then they just magically have a new husband already and you're like well that was quick so <laughs> i mean it, it's really hard i think for us to feel okay with ourselves this is girl on my instagram um i can't remember her name but um she has this thing like and she has a new book it's called single and satisfied i haven't read it don't know anything about it but um i definitely like her energy and she's promoted you know happiness when you're being when you're, you're single and i think that a lot of us feel like we can't be happy because we feel like we need to be in a relationship to be happy and i'm one of those people but you know i'm a cancer and i um I'm very emotional. I'm very loving. I want to have a family. I want to, you know, get married and have kids. And so remarried and <laughs> have another kid. But, you know, so I think that I beat myself up and I know that other women beat themselves up. And so that's why I wanted to have this channel to be able to have like an open dialogue about the pitfalls um, and for women to be able to share their imperfect stories because none of us are perfect. None of us have perfect relationships and on the outside it might look like it is, but in the inside there's all this turmoil and we're struggling with the same things, but a lot of women are too busy tearing each other down and talking about each other and not wanting to see anybody else's perspective, not being able to 
to not wanting to even care about what somebody else is going through. Um, so I thought that it was really cool that I was able to open up with um, these ladies and share some of my experiences. They were able to share theirs and we're all around, around the same age and everything. And so we also talked about, you know, how we feel about being older and, you know, we're not married now. So um, a couple of us are dating people, but, you know, we're older, we're not married, but what about kids? You know, we're getting older and, you know, that's a process. You don't just like jump and like, oh, we met and we're dating and now we're married. Like some people do. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's like a process. So it's like that takes time to kind of get up and it's like you're getting older. And so um, it was just nice to like hear other people's perspectives and other people's stories. And it makes you feel not so alone. So like I said, I'm not a joiner perfectly happy chilling on my couch. However, I um, was pleasantly surprised that I had such a good time and such good fellowship with these people and um, they were Christians as well. And so, I mean, I like eat up <laughs> being able to talk to people that are my age because a lot of the time I'm talking to people about God and they're older. Um, but it's nice to be able to, you know, have someone that's a peer and we're able to, you know, just kind of go back and forth and, um, and like I said, share our very imperfect stories. Um, so I just wanted to hopefully help some other people feel comforted that we're just all going through it and we're, we're trying our best. And um, I think everything's a learning experience. And I really think that God is just shaping us and growing us and i know that you hear that all the time however i definitely feel like i'm a living testimony of how god has changed my heart and my perspective and um my idea of how i approach relationships and um you know i've said this a thousand times but you have to desire to be in a relationship with god more than your relationship with anyone else and especially a man or a spouse or whatever like you have to have your life right with God he has to have you in that perfect place so that you can receive the blessing which you know being able to have a happy marriage is a blessing being able to have a child is another huge blessing so it's like everything has to just kind of fit and um if there's anything going on in your life you haven't let go of your hose um you're stuck on people that are just bad for you you're not dating people that are walking in the life you're still letting guys tell you oh yeah i'm a christian and then you find out that they're not and it's like it just everything kind of just keeps perpetuating if you don't break the cycle and that's what i've definitely learned in this last year um is that it was me um, because it's not them like they're doing things but I'm allowing it and so you know all of us have that story about being dumb <laughs> being young and dumb it's pretty much what my channel's about being young and dumb and dating um, but I do this and I share my experiences so hopefully someone else can learn from them and you know get themselves out of their situations faster than I did because I'm 35 so <laughs> it took me like a really long time to get it. Um, so hopefully you're only 25 and you can get it a lot sooner. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to share those stories about um, just meeting people randomly and being able to connect and being able to, you know, feel like, geez, I'm just, I'm not that bad. I'm not alone. I'm, you know, I need to do some more work and God needs to show me some more things and God needs to work with me a little bit longer. But, you know, it's attainable and we all struggle. Like nobody's perfect. Nobody's relationships are perfect and everybody's got their something. And, you know, we just have to be faithful and, you know, definitely stay prayed up about situations and um, not let the devil keep talking to us about things and, you know, listening to God. And like I said, desiring that relationship with him more than someone else, because if tomorrow the Lord just sees fit to take Cece out of this equation, 
then I'm going to have to be okay with that. And that's kind of how I've approached our relationship since day one. It's like, I hope and pray that he's the one, but if God takes him out of my life, then what am I going to do? But, you know, be obedient to God. And if you're in a relationship and you love that person so much that if God tells you that he's not the one for you, you're not going to listen, that's a bad situation um, because he's telling you that for your good. So... Um, and this video went way longer than I wanted it to, and they always do. I'm so chatty. I'm sorry. Um, but I just have a lot of thoughts. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, if you got anything from it, um, if you have some any stories of your own or you've had any epiphanies, then definitely comment below and let me know. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you guys.